That is stupid, bro. That is stupid. Warning. All stunts performed in this video were conducted by trained professionals in a safe, controlled environment. Do not try this at home. Super safe. Hey, 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 hey! What? YouTube, welcome back to another video, man. Get focus up on me. What you doing, man? Focus, focus on me. Welcome back to another video, man. And today we picking up that big Glock 40. But first, let's make some things clear. This is not the Glock 40 that Gator was talking about. This is my Glock 40. This is my problem solver right here. This is my baby. You got a problem? I'll solve it. A nice piece of work. So when they see me come, and I come around with this here, they know it ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. In fact, that's not even a Glock. Right here, we have the Glock 40 chambered in 10 millimeter. This will be my first 10 mil pistol. A Glock 40 is typically referring to a Glock 23 or a Glock 22, something chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, not the actual Glock Model 40. But today, I will be picking up the Glock Model 40. I told y'all boys if y'all got my last video to 5k likes, I would go cop that thing. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure if you guys were gonna do it, but y'all showed up and showed out. A man is only as good as his word, so the fact that we hit 5k, if I didn't come get this Glock 40, I would be lying to y'all. We might gotta raise it up a little bit though, cause we hit 5k a little too easily. We might gotta do 10k. If y'all wanna see me get another Glock, 10k likes on this video. He running, why you running? Come here, why you running? Why are you running? Scary ad jet. Oh, it smell good out here. What they cooking? You smell that? Barbecue? Smell good. We got beautiful blue skies today. Shout out to my boy Hustle Man, Legally Dangerous on the cap. I think I, I think I want to come out with some new merch soon. So any graphic designers, any uh young entrepreneurs that uh, have a clothing brand or specialize in web design, graphic designing, y'all join my Discord. It hit me up on Instagram, comment down below, tap in with me, bro. I'm trying to grow. I don't think I want to speak on it too much, but if you did get some of that old merch, it will never sell again, bro. That first time merch drop was limited edition. Um, basically, I did receive an email and um, it was not a good email to receive. So that old merch, no more, but we will have new merch in the future. Like I said, tap in with me if you know you know, graphic designers or anything like that. Every time I go to the store, I just be trying to look at stuff. Oh, this is the phone that I need for streaming. The Galaxy 24. How much this is? A thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. I got T-Mobile. They don't even have that. I be trying to live stream on uh, Twitch or Kick. Twitch actually uh, deactivated my account, so Kick. But the battery on the iPhone dies really fast. So... That's why I would need a Samsung phone to uh, do IRL streams when I go out in public and stuff. Every time I come in here, I always get distracted by this this section. I want to find a boxing gym. When I stayed in Austin, there was a few uh, boxing gyms around me, but I never went to them. And if it's any boxing gyms in Houston that want to train me, comment down below, hit me up, man. Pause, pause on that training part. But like, if you want to teach me how to box and stuff, let me know something. Uh, where the Glockies at? What's that called? A slingshot? I don't want that. Point me to the Glockies, man. I came for the Glocks. Where the Glocks at? I'm tired of looking at these little pellet shooters. I'm done with the 80s. I told y'all we done with the 90s. But I know a lot of y'all used to watch me when I was just purely unboxing BB guns and uh, airsoft. I never want to disown y'all. I don't want to abandon y'all. So, like, I'll still do BB gun challenges, shoot my friends and stuff like that, unbox new paintball and airsoft guns. But, like, I love them real things, too. So, it's like... We got gel blaster, airsoft, and then we got real. So we got everything. What you want? I got black. I got white. What you want? Oh, uh, the, the 40 Smith & Wesson, 9 mil. Where the 10 milli at, man? 4.5. 4.5. Man, them folks don't got no 10 milli. They don't got no 10 mil ammo. I need to get me a new gun safe, though, for real. It's a 1911. It might be time to stop getting them Glocks, man. I ain't going to lie. It might be time to switch it up. Never gonna switch up from the Glockies, but 
I will explore some others, but here it is right here. Glock 40, Gen 4, MOS, Optic Ready. Got the finger grooves. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is the one. They got the shadow systems over here. Them things look all right. I ain't gonna lie. They look pretty nice. Not nice on my pockets though, but nice. Bro, 179. I'm about to pick up this little 22. Little python John. That's not a python. That's a grass snake. Garden snake. The brawler. What's going on, man? Yeah, I was trying to look at that uh, Glock 40. I got over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm the YouTube guy. I, can't, I told him I was gonna come back for it. That thing is insane. Yeah, can't wait to get this out to the range. Appreciate it, man. Well, found some 10 mil full metal jackets. These are 180 grain. But damn, these like uh, 80 cents around. That's 35 for these junk. 10 mil, 180 grand, 35. Got dog. Got dog. No ammo sponsors. Still out of pocket. That's out of pocket. Total 817. Yeah. 817. All right. Let's see. You so big money. Oh my gosh. Buy once, cry once, man. Decline. By the grace of God. Come on. Hey! That boy's always smiling, bro. Stop smiling. So it's like they're not hating if they watch and don't like, but you dry hating though. It's like you don't gotta drop a comment saying I don't like you. But if you watch the videos and you don't like or comment, you dry hating, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's like you following somebody on Instagram and you see they post and don't like you. Like, why are you following them? I mean, nah, that's not the same because like I might follow my homeboy on Instagram and he posts a picture with his shirt off and all that stuff. I ain't gonna like your picture, bro. I had to unfollow NLE Chopper, bro. He posting himself in his boxers and stuff. Oh, hell no. Nah. Anyways, we getting off topic. Big Glock 40, man. I finally got the Glock 40. This is not the Glock 40 Gator was talking about. This the real Glock 40, man. Big Glock 40. He's oh so my excited. Gosh. He forgot to turn on the heat. I'm in the air. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm so excited, bro. I didn't even cut the car on. I always start the car before I get in. It's 110 degrees outside. She getting her fan. Let me cut the AC on for you, sweetheart. Oh my, oh my gosh. It would not be me unboxing a new Glock if I didn't open it in the car. No, I'm not gonna be flagging nobody like. Yeah, let me drive. No, you're not driving. Oh my goodness. You know when Polo G said, I got a long nose nine, but that bit don't blow out snot. I got a long nose 10 mil. I got a long nose 10, but that bit don't blow out snot. They feel like. Pinocchio, if he told every lie in the world. How many lies Pinocchio got to tell to, to get this long? This look like me when... Good, googly moogly. You smiling ear to ear. Bro. I know, bro. I can't stop smiling. Bro. I like a little kid. I just love guns, man. And this one got finger grooves. I really like this. So the configuration of the Glock Model 40, um, it first came out, I believe, like early 2010s. I don't remember. I got some. I got to do some research. 2014. And they only produced it in the Gen 4 model. So that came with the finger grooves and no optic cut in the later years. And they made them with the uh, optic cut, which is amazing because you definitely want to throw a red down here. I mean, I definitely want to throw a red down here, but now we got to think, bro, am I going to Cerakote this or am I going to leave this all black? Do I have to do like a custom job? I feel like you can't have this special of a gun, this big of a gun and just leave it stock. Like maybe the internal stock and stuff, but like I got to do some customization to it. What symbolizes 40 or 10 mil? Ben 10? I've already seen people do Ben 10 Glocks though, but that would be hard. Like a Ben 10 for the 10 milli. Uh, what else is 10? Who are number 10? I'm blanking right now. Does a Big 10 have any meaning to it when you guys say Big 10? The Big 10? Nah, that's like a conference in football. You definitely have to circle that gun because you have way too many all black. I don't have way too many all black. My 22 all black, but I'm going to do something to it. 43X. 43X, that's an EDC. The 19 Gen 5 is going to get something done to it. The only all black guns that I have is my 43X and my 22. But like I said, 22 going to have something done to it. So. We're going to get back to the crib and do a full unboxing. I'm trying to get to the range today, but it closes in one hour. So we're kind of on a time crunch. Uh, yeah, we'll do a full unboxing probably at the crib, but y'all can see. Let me flip the camera. 
Oh my goodness. This thing's so damn big. We got, it's from the whole box, bro. From the corner to the corner. Fits in the Glock box, though. I was surprised. I was like, damn near thought they was about to bring me a, a case for it. Not even a Glock box. But, um, Glock 40. It come with two spare mags. So you're getting three 15 round magazines. What more could you ask for other than a Chris Vector? What I do have at the crib. Um, comes with two back straps. Definitely gonna be throwing those on. Uh, and of course the lock that comes with standard Glock and the mounting plates. So it got four different uh, optic mounting plates with the uh, little Allen key and the screw. So I already have a dot that I think I want to put on it and the back strap. So I just wanna, I just wanna shoot this thing already, man. Come on, where my ammo at? Hey man, we out. The range closed in one hour. She over there making TikToks with the gun and stuff. Just not with the gun, with the Glock box. You but can, can I leave the gun in the car with you while I go get the range kit? Now nah, just give me the gun. Maybe just take the bullets. Take the bullets. <laughs> Why would I take? Bro, just give me the gun. You don't need no. the gun. You keep the Glock box. I'm gonna take the gun. Okay, bet. Yeah. Not getting this one stolen. <laughs> Yo, I can't even put it in my armpit. This thing, my whole torso, king corso. Now nah, I'm good. I'm about to walk up to the crib like this. They know not to mess with me. I'm pump faking, but I got that real thing right here, though. So you feel what I'm saying? Well, she over there making TikToks with the gun. Yo, I'm actually surprised. I could really do the 19X on the waistband and the 40 actually fit in these pants. They got some deep pockets. Got my wallet right here and I got the Glock 40 stuffed in my pants. Good googly moogly. Don't mind these socks on my floor, boy. I'm not dirty. I was just in a rush this morning. My bed still made up, but I got a little mess. I'm trying to move right now, too. Yo, I'm moving. Where should I move to? I'm on tour right now, tour in America. I might move to North Dakota, or South Carolina. I don't know. Mississippi, Tuscaloosa. I'll probably stay in Texas for real. Get back in there. All right, let's get the range bag. Range bag right here. We got two sets of ears, two sets of eyes, and that's all we're gonna need for real. Bruh, I don't think it really hit me yet that I just dropped that much money. Cause when I was on my phone, I got a notification from my bank and it say $800. And I said, get out. Is that the most I've ever spent on a Glock? Yeah, definitely. On a stock Glock, that's the most I've ever spent. Is that the most expensive Glock? Is this, this is the most expensive Glock I bought. I'm pretty sure. What other Glock cost more than $800? I mean, it did cost $800 because I bought 50 rounds of ammunition. Without the ammo, would have been closer to like $760 after tax. All right, so we had the range. It closes in 30 minutes, so we don't really need 30 minutes for it. We only need like 20. Got 50 rounds. It's going to be a quick one. Hello. 
I can't, I can't really see down range. I vision. I need my damn, my damn glasses for real. Yeah, pulling, pulling to the right. Yeah, 1x. Pulling to the right. Gotta adjust that. A little off. Let's hit it up though. First set. First set, Millie. Go ahead. Watch how you grip it. Don't grip it like that. You can use it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Be careful. It's so big. Whoa, that's it? Yeah. Make sure you always point that barrel down range. Keep it pointing down range. There you go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Drop it, drop it. Look where you shoot it. Look. You shoot it all the way to the left. So you gotta pull it in to the right some more. This all you right here. So you gotta apply more pressure with this left hand. When you holding it, push more with this hand. Slow and steady, apply more pressure with that left hand. All right, that's cool. Last video, they were saying you were shooting better than me, so. Those was me, and this was all you. Yep. If I shot that right there, I'm taking the gun back. <laughs> <laughs> I already have an optic and a Chris Vector mag, but I forgot to bring it. So y'all gotta stay tuned, man. But just shooting it with irons, it's pretty nice. I don't like the full length beaver tail, so I'm just gonna take that off. But you know I do the cut back strap, so we're gonna do a cut back strap on it. But for right now, I don't like the full back strap. It's kind of too much. So we're going to take that off and we'll get back to the crib and cut it, do some construction. How's my recoil control? This is my first 10 mil. How's my recoil control? Bad? No, it's good. Really good. Really good? You boost it. I'm That slide, slide stop, dog. It's like the 43X. You can't use it. Oh, can't I don't like that. that. Yeah. Uh, huh? How much time we got? Uh, minutes or five minutes. All right, here. Your nail's not a problem now, huh? No. Don't hurt you. Don't be zooming up in the nose, boys. Mm-hmm. I guess you height. Well, she loaded five rounds. Good job. Thanks. Uh, so I'll probably do this mag first. Now we're gonna stretch it out a little bit. That was at seven and ten yards. Now we're gonna do 15, 15 yards. And we're gonna aim for the face shot at 15. This thing feel like a well-oiled machine, like, it's like, whew, that's a nice uh, spring they got in there. Six-inch barrel.
can't really see that far. My new glasses come in in two weeks. So no more excuses. I should be wearing my contacts. But I can't see. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So I, oh. missed, I missed one. What's it say? Or? I missed it. I admit it. That's at 15 yards, bro. I can't see. So you can't see at all? Huh? You can you, see though, right? I'm legally blind. I can see barely. But, 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 but. You looking at the one that I missed. Those was two good ones. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. I missed. The this group is, is right? terrible. Oh. We'll do 10 yards and try to aim for the head. Me? Oh. Both of us, sure. We'll do 7 yards, head shot. That's easy. Put it to 10, boy. You said that's easy, 7 yard head shot, and watch you still hit the white. <laughs> I don't know. I know where those went. Me too. You know where those went? Yep, I was recording for you. See, at seven yards, how is it that much better, bro? You just double from seven to 15 yards, and I'm missing bad. I'm seven legally blind. blind. At seven yards, 10 mil, that's great. 15, oh, I, I think I have a pull shot. We'll just say that's a pull shot. Do three, three shots at the head. head already. Let me see, check. Nope, gun's cleared. All right. Seven yards, head shots, let's see. You said it was easy, right? Yeah. Let me get her at seven yards. Aim for the head. Slow. Uh, hold on. Look at your stance. Fix your stance. Come back a little bit and lean into it. Lean into it some more. I need my glass. I can't see where she is. Where are you hitting? I just hit the shoulder. Shoulder? Oh yeah, that's low left. You talking about it's so easy. Oh it's God. so easy. Yo, seven yards is too easy. I did that. Yeah. Look. That's what you did. And that's what you did. At seven yards headshot. You talking about some dumb? So easy. Let's just I got it either. But okay. look at where I was. I guess you're a better shooter than me. Okay, so these are my three I did. Alright, come on, hold on. He about to call a ceasefire, so I gotta go. Okay, okay. Uh we're gonna do seven yards again. Yeah. But that thing bigger than my head. That was all the ammo. That was only 50 rounds. That's weak, bro. Ew. First 50 rounds through, what you think? I think that gun's too big for me. Too big for you? I think the beaver tail, the back strap was dog crap. I ain't like it. I like it better without it. Still want to get the, the chop beaver tail. As far as the grouping, um, that was you, right? That was you, that was oh, you. Oh, one of these was yours. That was me, that was me. Was 15 yards, This that was, was also you. Bull you crap. just You just did this when you were shooting. I, I was watching, yes. Okay, maybe, yeah, one-handed right now, yeah, I might take that. But like two hands on the thing, that was my worst miss for sure. But then, I mean, it could definitely get tighter, bro. That's my first time really shooting the 10 mil like that. Yeah. Especially out the 40, but. We'll get back to the crib and we'll talk some more, man. Surprised it even fits my blue bag. It's a sniper rifle. 50 BMG Glock. That's a better way to look at it. I think the bear might survive, I ain't gonna lie. Got it. Last one's on. Oh. 
Alright boss, I'll take it easy, right. You too. Hey, he tried to act like he cool with me. I tried to get on the other lane, he said no. We was trying to get our own private, we could have had our own private side. How you feel about those uh, shots? I definitely think I can get better group friends. I don't know what's been up with me lately. <laughs> you had an off night? It's always an off night. I don't know what's going on. I'm really assured. I watched John James Wake. Boy, you know John Wick. Stop disrespecting. You be clip farming. <laughs> hey, she clip farming too crazy, bro. You know John Wick, bro. She Dude, nah, nah, nah. I'm literally not. You I promise I'm not. You start acting crazy. You I, just call bro I, James Wick. I know John Wick. Bro, see, nah, you acting different. You acting crazy. Whatever, man. All right, y'all. Let's maybe not add that clip in there. Yeah, bro. Nah, I, no, I, I really did forget his name. Cap, boy. Hey, but look, though. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, but look though. Yeah, nah, that wasn't really a a great first experience with the uh, Glock 40, but we're gonna shake back though. I hope it wasn't like kicking me back too much. Nah, but I will say that trigger is like a two-stage trigger. It kind of caught me off guard a few times. That's why I think I pulled that first shot so far left. Um, damn, I should have I should have brought the uh, paper in here, but I mean, we're gonna see it when we get back to the crib. Honestly, I mean. I'm being a little hard on us. The grouping wasn't terrible, but you know, it definitely should be tighter. You said you said you was having an off night? Yeah, I don't know what's, what's going on. Bro thinks she KD? I don't know, like next time for sure. You was not Steph Curry on the Olympic team. You know how good of a shooter I am. No, I'm not gonna lie. You're a you're a pretty good shooter. You know, with that 43X, you was actually hitting with the red dot. Um, When I was trying to find the wall, it kind of felt like I'm taking the trigger off safety. I'm gonna have to play with the trigger when I get back to the crib, but it kind of feel like there's a first wall with the safety, and then the second wall was the actual wall. So I don't know. I gotta I gotta get used to that. I feel what you're saying, because I was like pitched in a little bit, and whenever I was ready, I would just grab it all the way, and every time I would pull the trigger, I would just close my eyes. <laughs> Let's see that target one more time. We just gonna get it out of the way, bro. Not my best shooting performance. Started off about seven yards away. I think I was hitting nine and eight. Uh, Might have pulled one low left, then backed it up to 10 yards. That's when the, the spreading started. Um, we just gonna blame these ones on say, but uh, up top at 15 yards, I did pull one or two of these shots. I believe this is when I was shooting with one hand, but I pulled one with uh, with two hands at 15 yards. Now that we got that out the way, but now that we got that out the way, man, let's just look at the Glock 40 for what it is, man. I ain't even really get to do no unboxing with it. We just been on the road, man. This is her first time in the crib. Welcome to the crib. This is your spot. We got a nice room for you in the gun safe, but Show them people what you're talking about, shot. Mounting plates. Wanted to make a grand appearance. Let's try that again. Dump the Glock, show me a work or something. So, out the box, you are getting three 15 round magazines, two back straps, also came with a speed loader. I don't really use these, but um, they're nice to have. They actually have better uh, speed loaders that you can buy aftermarket instead of using the Glock ones. And finally, the firearm. Now let's get into my detailed review of the Glock 40 Gen 4 MOS. I like the texturing. These squares provide a similar feel to like the handle it uh edge series it's more aggressive it's it's not soft you could definitely feel a good grip um the texturing under the finger grooves matches the side as well so it's the same grip the same aggressive grip on the side and the back strap and the finger grooves as well the finger grooves are kind of iconic so it's like you know i can't imagine it without it and yeah like i said the grip on the finger grooves feels amazing um it almost feels like it has a built-in beaver tail. It's, it's not too much. It's kind of flared at the end, but you know, I always like to add just a little bit more. Um, 
One of my biggest cons for this thing is the slide stop. It's very similar to the uh, Slimline, the Glock 43X. There's not much surface area. You can't really manipulate it with one hand. You're gonna have to use two hands because that thing is trash. So definitely gonna be looking for an aftermarket slide stop. The trigger, let's test what I was talking about earlier. But first, let's just check, double check that the firearm is safe. We are clear and empty. So uh, let's test that trigger one more time. All right, so yeah, it's a little stiff right now. Um, once you release the safety and you pull, there's this kind of, you hear that? That's the first wall, and that's the second one. I feel like I'm pulling the trigger twice to release one shot. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, you know, Glock triggers got to get broken in. It's very stiff right now. Wall, 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 wall. Oh my gosh. Look how much play there is. There's a lot of take up. I mean, beyond your first shot, the follow-ups are going to be much cleaner because once you do find the wall, the reset, the reset is smooth and the break is clean. It's just that play, that uptake, it, it's just a lot. It's, it's too much for me, man. I don't like all that. I got to get used to it. I damn near got to shoot with my middle finger because it's just so much play in there. So the trigger pull is still about 5.3 pounds, I believe. This is a standard Glock trigger. It's just very stiff and needs to be broken in. But my last two Glocks that I have purchased have come overly stiff. The triggers have been stiff like no other. I've purchased pretty much all of my Glocks brand new. The only exception being my Glock 22. It was from a pawn shop with one previous owner. So. Other than the trigger being stiff and the slide stop not really being functional, everything else about this gun is damn near perfect. The iron sights, amazing. I damn near could run the iron sights. Uh, I do have an optic that I'm thinking about throwing on. Stay tuned. Um, other than that, I mean, Cerakote customization. Uh, I did say change the slide stop. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe a big old light on that thing. A big old light, big fat light, red dot, and a slide, slide stop. Cut beaver tail, of course, chop beaver tail, but that's just, that's on a regular nowadays, but. That slide is nine inches long with a six inch barrel. This thing is massive. No ditty, bro. It's just every, bro. But y'all get it though, like, y'all could just see the size. Let's do a quick comparison. This is my EDC, the 19X is basically the, the length of a 17 with the afterburner on it, but you can still see how much space is left over from that 40 to the 17. That, that is quite the comparison, man. This is you, who she tell you not to worry about? GG's, man. <laughs> This is a real Glock party, you cannot get in. I am looking at getting the Glock 20 soon, cause you know, I'm never really gonna carry this, but if I ever do wanna carry 10 mil, it will most likely be the Glock 20 as opposed to the Glock 40, so. Hey, stay tuned, man. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all gotta smash that like button for me. We gotta tear the likes up. Y'all saw this thing was expensive, but it's worth it. I like it, I wanna go hunting with it. That would be fire. Let me know if y'all want to see some hunting videos. And actually, I might not be done yet because I do have some attachments already at the crib. So let's see what I could do with this thing. Yeah, so I'm the type of person, bro, when I know I'm going to get a new gun, I'm already looking at parts before I even get it. So 
I've actually had this Siley uh, red dot for over a year now. Haven't really found anything to throw it on yet. And this Chris Vector uh, 10 millimeter magazine, uh, YouTube compliant. Uh, if you can count, look at the holes. Um, so let's just uh, see what that thing talking about. Oh my bro, that is stupid, bro. That is stupid. Oh my gosh. We going golfing with this one. I ain't gonna lie, chat. Y'all wanna play baseball or y'all wanna take it to top golf? You put it like this, we putting. Where the ops at? Got a low, tell them drop that. I'm gonna show y'all boys a real hole in one. Y'all don't wanna go to putt putt with me, man. Uh, 12 by nine, 12 by nine. Bro, that's like a shipping container. This thing's huge. This is the bare optic from uh, Siley. The reason why I say that's funny is because the 10 millimeter cartridge is known for knocking down bears. It's the bear killer. So the fact that I got the, the bear optic on the bear killer, now we gotta go knock down a bear, man. See if this thing got enough stopping power to knock down Winnie the Pooh. And if it don't, good thing I got the Chrissy too. It's gonna be worth it. Y'all wanna see a full mag dump out this thing? Smash that like button, drop a comment. Matter of fact, I think I need to throw a s So I really like that mounting plate from Siley. It has the MOS and the RMR. Um, yeah, that's nice, man. I can't lie. I can't lie. Now let's see what it look like with that optic on, man. I forgot. I got ahead of myself. Didn't even cut the uh, back strap. But I guess that's going to be the last thing that we do for real. I got to zoom out to get this thing in frame. Good. Googly moogly. That thing is juicy. Oh my gosh. It looked like I put a mailbox on that thing. Not quite. But I mean, let me see. The dot's pretty nice. It's a red dot. I mean, looks pretty on out the box. Um, it is adjustable and um, you can select the brightness level of it. So the Siley Bear, how are we feeling about this? A Hollison might be the way to go for me. They kind of they kind of steal the show every time. Throw a little Hollison on there. It might just look a little cleaner. But, you know, this is a big Glock 40, so we might got to go with a different look, a different approach. I mean, we're going to see. I was going to put it on the flow, man. Put it on the flow challenge because that thing is too big to be recorded in vertical mode. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I had... The wrong opinion. The Siley Bear actually looked pretty good on this 40, especially with the Chris Vector. Let's see it uh, without it. We're going to go Stockiana. Stockiana, it still don't look too bad, to be honest. I mean, and you see that red dot glowing pretty bright. Turn it down. And there it is, man. Looks like it's, it's, it's aligned. Pretty good out the box. I mean... It's not no SRO, but it'll do, man. What y'all think? The Siley on the Glock 40 with the Chrissy. We might be cooking, bro. We might be cooking. You feel what I'm saying? The stove is definitely on. But one more addition. The last thing for right now, chopped beaver tail. Where my beaver tail is at? Where my bad beaver tail is at, man? I'm looking for the bad jumps. Bad jumps only. Y'all say y'all prayers, man. We're going to need it. Backstrap is about to undergo surgery. Well, I would say surgery went pretty successful. Um, it was a smooth surgery. Uh, wasn't my best work. But like Dr. Miami, sometimes I give out the best BBL in the world. And sometimes they going to sag a little bit. And I mean, this one's sagging a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Uh... Ooh, now we got a good focus, bro. I had to cut some extra light on and my camera is actually deciding to focus. But um, as you can tell, it is chopped right below the pin line or the pin hole. And I don't know if I lost it or they didn't include it, but this pin is the backstrap pin for the standard gun. I don't see the extended pin to hold the backstrap. So um, I'm just gonna have to put this in for now but at least we have a pin in there so we do have a pin in 
and this is the final form for now let me know what you guys think man chop beaver tail chris vector mag Siley uh bear optic not too much we do have to change the slide stop but she is massive bro oh my gosh she is a hog she's a bear killer let me know what you guys think man one through ten in the comments would you cop is it too big do i still got some more work to do let me know man i appreciate y'all for watching make sure y'all like comment subscribe smash the like button for real i'm gonna catch y'all my next video man needs a flashlight man every good weapon needs a light i need a weapon light i don't know what i'm gonna mount on it i feel like i got some options in my room so i might as well go look so uh, let's go to my gun room f it all right so we're in the undisclosed location here is the glock 40 weapon light hmm let me see what i got for you <laughs> the o light odin this big old jump that's not bad, bro. Something like that. The big X3 Hondo. No. Uh, we got some more O lights. Shout out to O light. Um, this is not O light. This is a Glock 19 magazine. Actually, this is a Glock uh, 23 magazine. Uh, I think this is what we're gonna go with. This is the O light Bald Pro, Bald R Pro. This is the Olight Baldar Mini. This is what I used to run on my 19X before I graduated into the Streamlight. And one day I'll graduate to a Surefire. It's when my bank account graduates. So this is the Olight Baldar Pro on it. And it's just insane seeing that the barrel is extending past the weapon light. But I mean, at least there is a light on it now. So, I mean, this thing's pretty modular. It's throwing me off that the pin is not going all the way through so i really need to find the extended uh, uh backstrap pin to make sure that this backstrap is actually secured it is on one side but on the other it's not so i don't know if i dropped it or if it just wasn't in but i'm sure it was in there i might have dropped it but yeah let's take this back to the desk my camera was actually dying that's why i was trying to speed the video up but uh this old light is dead right now that's unfortunate do I have any other lighting options? Uh, I have a crossbow. Uh, what is this? Warrior Land. This is a Warrior Land crossbow. I just found another Olight. So what is this one? This is the Olight Baldar Pro. This is the Olight Baldar Pro R. So you can see the Pro R is longer. I have a lot of light options, bro. I didn't even realize how many Olights. They have sent me out throughout the years. My first year on YouTube, Olight probably sent me about 20 products. So shout out to Olight. They always believed in your boy. But um, look at the Warrior Land on that thing. It's too small. It's just, it's, it's very underwhelming. You need a bigger light. So I think we would have to go with, I think this going to have to do for now. I don't really feel like going through the rest of my stuff because i'm kind of lazy but that's mostly it for the most part let's go back to the office man that's more like it man finally got the light on there you know olight shout out to olight man <laughs> this is a budget build i'm not gonna lie we got the olight and the siley um probably gonna see changes to it in the future i'm not gonna lie but this is just what i had lying around the house and I didn't have to uh, order anything off Amazon. So I got the gun stock and um, chopped the beaver tail in shop. As you can tell, that's a little sloppy work from me. Um, don't have the actual pin, which is bad. Looks a little raggedy, looks rugged. Uh, we need a new slide stop. We got the optic on there and uh, the Olight Baldar Pro R, yeah. So, um, Chris Vector Mag as well. How could I forget? Let me know what y'all think, man. I would probably give this like a seven out of 10, maybe like an eight and a little Sarah coat, a little customization. I'll say this thing like an eight. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe 8.5, eight, eight, high eight. We're gonna walk them down though. We're gonna get better. Look how big this is like a ruler, 30 inches. God, dog. I can't even find the dot. There it go. That's the dot. That's the thing. Oh my. Oh my goodness. 
the Holy Grail Glock. Yeah, man, that thing is insane. Um, you know, just shooting it stock and then seeing it transform into this is crazy. Speaking of transform, when I was filing uh, my paperwork to purchase this gun today, it asked me my gender. And I'm pretty sure this is not the first time it's asked me that, but this was the first time that I really paid attention. There were three options, male, female, and non-binary. So the next time that I purchase a gun, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select the third option. I wonder if that would make them approve me or decline me faster. Stay tuned to find out. Probably approve. <laughs> uh, let me know what y'all think of this big lock. Let me know what y'all think of this big Glock 40, man. Light, optic, fairy tale, magazine. Only up from here, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to uh, do things like this. This is amazing. I can't wait to take it to the range again. And um, I'm going to catch y'all boys in my next video, man. Y'all stay tuned. Had to take a full break first. Boy, why do it look like uh, chocolate pudding with the, like the little cinnamon? What's that white stuff on top? White sugar? That's beans. Oh, I thought there was a lime. That's the avocados. Oh, hell no. I was going to squeeze it. Make sure y'all say a prayer for y'all eat. Your Lord, take this first food. Please bless you all to Thank you my faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boy, that 19X poking me, boy. I need that 43X. Y'all can see the iron sights and the optic. Bro, it's poking my stomach. No ditty. I need my 43X, man. I need my 43X, man. My holster come in today. I'm just waiting on that new uh, holster to come in for my 43X. It should come in today.